Say, Buzz, fill us in on the last episode of the Intergalactic Nemesis. Oh boy, Jason, it was crazy. The Zygonian invasion began 162 years early. Sludge monsters. I'll give them what for. They're not here, Molly. There's no one here, Molly. It's not a Zygonian ship anyway. It's too clean. <laughs> too sleek. Is that a pistol in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <gasps> May West? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm not really May West. I'm a holograph designed by a society of robots to look and sound like Mae West. They believed our appearance would make you feel at home and relaxed. At home and relaxed? More like stuck in a roadside motel with a bottle of sour milk for company. Well, I suppose too much of a good thing. In the Sammy Archive. Hill. Hello, Ben Wilcott, Molly Sloan, and Timmy Mendez. Welcome to your starship, the Shadow Nebula. I'm the ship's automated hollow guide, here to make your voyage to the robot planet pleasant and informative, and to aid in the successful completion of your endeavor. Robot planet? Who are you? What do you want from us? Please, I mean you no harm. You may call me Augie. In addition to providing hospitality services, I've been programmed to overcome 3.9 billion possible obstacles, difficulties, and outcomes that may arise during your voyage to the Eftelin Plitz and Fire Galaxy. Eftelin Plitz? Yes. Now, let us begin our mission. And what mission is that, Augie? The mission to destroy Zygon, of course. Stop the presses there, Augie. Did you just say mission to destroy Zygon? Indeed. But how could we possibly destroy Zygon? The time machine we sent you. The seamless black box. You sent that? But how could you possibly... The Cerebratron can predict organic species behavior for thousands of years. You mean that... There, there are 23 trillion, 286 billion, 348 million, 679,000, 821 sentient creatures in your galaxy, Ben Wilcott. But... There is only one who can defeat the Zygonians. You are that one. So, according to Augie, uh, the robots who live on a secret hidden planet secretly sent you back in time? So secretly, you didn't even know they did it? I don't even know which end is up anymore, Molly. How can I possibly destroy an entire race of psychotic amoeboid killers? <laughs> For the love of the archive, I've spent my entire adult life in a library. Oh, is that all? How bad can these Zygonians be? You put the screws to them pretty good back in Tunis. I'm afraid you have no idea of what it is we're about to face. When they first hit us, I was at a library conference in the Twin Cities. So then I told her. Ben! Ben! Hold on, Clint. Did you hear? Genie? Sterling! My wife. And son. Didn't even have time to scream. Oh, Ben. I don't even know what to say. The devastation was incredible. We nearly lost hope, but 
step by step. Battle by battle, we learned how to fight them, but it was no use, Molly. Just when we thought we had them beat, the Zygonian shot a missile into the sun, blowing up the entire solar system. That's when I found the time machine sent by the robots, that seamless black box. I barely managed to escape with my life. You mean there's no more Earth? Don't you see, Molly? This is a lost cause. The Zygonian Empire spans across the entire known universe. The Queen is all-powerful. You and I could never destroy them. Even with all the technology the robots can provide us, it will never be enough. In the end, the Zygonians will always win. Same intergalactic time, same intergalactic channel. It's the Intergalactic Nemesis, next time on the Intergalactic Nemesis. The adventure continues online and in person, all at theintergalacticnemesis.com.